Yes. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> Look at this. Hello everybody and welcome to another fishing episode. Today I'm gonna fish rainbow trout. We'll try to explore a new location. This is a lake with stocked rainbow trout and it's quite unique in terms of its location. You can easily get here even by public transport from Gothenburg. Never fished here before, but you guys have been asking me in the comments to come here and to try, so here I am. This lake is positioned as a rainbow trout lake, but I also know that there is some stocked uh, trout or if you wish brown trout here. Usually I don't try to distinguish this uh, brown or sea trout. This is the same species. If you put brown trout into the sea, it becomes a sea trout and vice versa. So uh, there is trout here and also in the fishing license, it's written grayling. So it will be really awesome to catch some. I don't know what is the population of Grayland, but as I understood, this lake is mostly populated by rainbow trout. So it will be really awesome to try. Let's just go try to find a spot and start fishing. I think I will try quite a number of lures today. So let's start with a spinner. Let's try. Uh, we'll try something else now. I'm thinking to go to the other side of the lake because there will be sun now rising above the trees and it will just shine into my eyes. Let's see how it works. Yeah, there was a bite. Of course, it requires some patience. But I think I will try to provide them with something different now. And I got another bite. So they are here. I just can't get them on the hook. Yes. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> Look at this. No, I lost it. That was a good fish. Come on. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with my reel. Oh my God. That was a good fight. When it jumped out from the water, it was not a huge fish, but it was so strong. There was a bite again. Come on. Take it. 
Actually, today I'm running with a lure according to the rules, but I also have a dropper loop here. I removed my teaser fly in order to follow the rules and to fish with a single lure. I don't really think that the fish will bite on this one because this is a fluorocarbon leader. In theory, it should be invisible in water for the fish, but there might be a chance that the fish really tries to bite here on this loop. We'll try another place. Yes. I got it, finally, and now it's unhooked right in the net. Whew. And this guy took on this Savage Gear Seeker ISP, silver green color. Actually, the one that I lost before, it was on the same lure. So it works. That's great. That's a well-deserved rainbow trout. After a bit of struggling, after some lost fish, finally it's so nice to catch. Oh, That was a nice contact. Just BAM! So strong hit on the lure. So the plan right now is to go around back to another side of the lake. I will try to fish over there in a bit deeper water. Let's see how it works. Yes. Let's see whether I managed to land this one. Oh no. It has gone. Yeah. That was another fish that I lost. No, the break looks pretty nice. So I don't want to tighten it right now so that I can hook the fish pretty well, but then I think I will loosen it quite a lot when I'm trying to land the fish.
All right, guys, it was a very nice fishing session at Södra Longevatnet with a lot of activity. A lot of bites, some fish lost, some fish landed, but that's part of fishing. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.